everybody, this is Sindhu from Imagination to Creation and I'm a young creative artist and today I'll be teaching you how to make a very simple easy acrylic painting of Lord Ganesha. The materials we'll be needing for the super simple easy painting are some paint brushes. The paint brushes I am using are just flat brushes. They're all flat brushes. I chose out three. And the reason I have three is because I have one flat fat flat brush and two smaller ones about the same size. And for different colors, like for the dark colors, I have a certain one. And for light colors, I have another certain one to make sure they don't blend together. So three paint brushes, all flat ones. We'll also be needing a pencil. I'm just using a regular pencil. An eraser, the regular eraser. And you'll also be needing some paints. The colors I will be using are some black, some white, some blue, some red, some yellow, and some brown. And you'll also be needing a plate or a palette for squirting your paint onto so you don't get it anywhere else. And you'll also be needing like a newspaper or anything like newspaper or anything like that just to put in underneath your painting so it doesn't get your table or your surface all painted or anything like that. Now I'd like to also thank the Telugu Association of North America and the president of it, Jay Tullery, and the New Jersey Regional Vice President, Raja Kasakurthy. And I just would like to thank the entire association for giving me this opportunity. And yeah, let's get started. And real quick before we start, I would just like to chant Om Gam Ganapate Namaha three times. So if you'd like to, please do it along with me. Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha Om Gam Ganapate Namaha All right. And real quick, I would just like to tell you the Zoom rules. Make sure that you are on mute when I am teaching this because if a lot of people are talking, then it's hard to do this. And it's hard to concentrate on what we're doing when there's a lot of sounds in the background. So make sure you're on mute. And also, real quick, I'd like to go over how to raise your hand. So, if you click on participants, then you'll, you should see an option that says raise hand. And then if you click it, it's a blue hand. And then I will know if your hand is raised. And if you ever, so if you'd like to, you can try raising your hand just to make sure it works. And if it, and this is like for me to know if like you have a question or anything like that, then I can call on you. All right. So now we can get started. So we're going to first start off by putting the basic sketch and the outline. And some of the young kids may need help from their parents. So if you're having trouble doing this, then you can ask your parents and older sibling to help you. All right. So let's get started. So for this, we are first going to be starting off with a round shape that comes from halfway about, about halfway. 
at the top of your canvas. And if you don't have a canvas, then you can use some canvas paper, some watercolor paper, anything like that. I don't recommend to use regular paper because it'll like make your paper all crinkly once it dries. So I'm just going to bring it through from right here and you want to draw pretty lightly. I'm drawing darker so you guys can all see it better. So I just want to go in here like this and you want this to be like coming a little bit past halfway otherwise it'll be too much of a background. So I'm just going to bring it down. like this, and I'm gonna bring it down to about here. And if you like to in the chat, if you ever need anything repeated, then like, I don't know when the chat come in, comes in, so make sure to say like what part you want repeated because I can repeat it on another piece of paper. All right. So now from here, we're gonna curve it inwards. So I'm gonna bring it up right here like this. and then back in, like that, just that much. It looks a little bit confusing right here, but it's super easy and simple. You just have to look at it closely, but it just curves into right here, and then I'll explain the rest afterwards. All right. So I'll wait a moment here for you all to um, get caught up on here and everything like that. So I'll just wait like a minute for you all to get here. Okay, so now from here, we can now move on to the next step. So for this next part, how I find it easiest is to bring it from over here first, like this. And I like to make it just about this thick, not too thick. and bring it up and around all the way down. So I'm gonna pause here for just a moment to make sure you all have that because this next part looks a little bit tricky but it's actually super easy, but you just need to look at it closely. So now we just started from here and we just follow the same line we had there, the same curve. And you can always tell me in the comments if you are done or if you want me to go faster or slower or move on or anything like that. All right, so now moving on to the next step. So from here, we are just going to bring this line up and connect over here. 
like that. And then from here, all we did was bring this line up. You don't want your lines to be too dark, but you want it to be a good amount And you want it to be as much as you can the same all throughout because when you paint on top of it, sometimes the lines are visible. But how we are going to outline it all, the lines shouldn't be visible. But just in case you want to draw pretty lightly, I'm just drawing a little bit darker so you can see better. All right. So now, from here, we are just going to make a little curve that comes up like this, and then back down, and then just connect it with the same line right here. So basically now, hopefully you could see it, but now, this part is the trunk of Lord Ganesha that connects into his head, and this part is just the background. So hopefully you're able to spot that. And sometimes you can fix it if you like, but you shouldn't spend too much time on it. But fix it to make it more roundish or anything like that. I'll wait a moment here for Ellen to get caught up. And then we can move on to the next step. So as I said that you can raise your hands if you had a question on Zoom. A lot of you raised your hands when I said that, so if you don't have a question, then please lower your hand. All right. So now, From here, we can move on to the next part. So for this, we pretty much have the basic outline and all that shape ready. Okay. So now, from here, I am just going to make the top part, which is this. And from here, we are just going to start up over here. And I'm just going to curve it upwards like this. And I'm going to continue this all throughout, but not too far. I just want to do a little, maybe like five, just f about five of them. Like this. And also, like, you shouldn't spend 
too much time on perfecting it because when you're doing this and perfecting it, it honestly looks better the first time before you started trying to make it look super good. Because just keep in mind that this is just the drawing part of it. It's not even the painting part. Okay. So now, from here, we're going to do this. So for this, after we do this part, I'll pause for a moment. For like a minute or two. So now, from here, we are going to curve this upwards like this. And it's not going to come all the way from down here. It's a little bit higher up. And then we're going to follow the same lines. Like that. And as you can see, there's this line that comes across here. So you can go ahead and erase that little part of the line. All right. And you can always fix this later when you're painting it too. You don't need to spend too much time on it and trying to perfect it right now. And then I'm gonna actually wait just like a minute here to make sure you all have this down. All right. So now from here, so, 
So now from here, we are just going to be making the eye. So for this, I'm gonna make the eye right about here. And I'm just going to make it a little bit over towards the right side at halfway. And I'm just going to make a little curve that comes up like this. And I'll repeat this on another piece of paper. Where I'm gonna curve it up like this. I'm gonna curve it back down and connect it to here. So again, I'll repeat this on another piece of paper now. So we're just gonna curve it up like this. And then back in like this. So again, if you like, you can turn your canvas or your paper to make it like straight so that you don't have to draw it diagonally. But if you choose to do that, then we just have to curve it up and down and then back down and connect like this. And this is the eye of Lord Ganesha's head, so it's the eye. So I'll give you a moment here to get this eye done. All right. So now from here, I got my eye in. And now from here, I'm going to make the next part. And after I do this part, I'll pause a moment. I'll wait for a moment. But from here, we're just going to keep rising this up a little bit and then connect it. Like this. And if you like, you can fill this in because we'll be using black anyway. So you know where it's supposed to be. And you can see if you like how it's looking. Like that. And then I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker at the bottom of it. Now we can connect this here like that. And that is our eye. Again, so right here, you just keep rising it up and rising it up like this. And then we can fill it in so we can see how it looks because it's going to be in black anyway. Like that. And then at the bottom, we can bring it down with another layer. And you don't want to spend too much time for perfecting this because when we put the paint overwards, it's not going to even look the same. So we don't want to spend too much time on it.
So again, we just curve it up and back down. And then same thing again for the eyes. And if it helps, then you can draw like an almond shape like this. And then from here, you can make your shape like this. If it helps like for a guideline, then you can also do that. So now we'll be moving on, but real quick, I'll show you one more time. So if we, if this isn't working for you, if this isn't like being any better for you, then you can curve it up from right here, then follow the same line and then curve it up there and then do the same thing over here, curve it down, follow the same line like that and then erase this part here and this part here. That also works too. And then make this thicker and all. All righty. All right. So now we can move on to the next step. So for this, you're gonna be drawing the inside of the eye and if it helps, you can turn your canvas or whatever you're using and then make that shape. So all we're gonna do is bring it in on both sides and we don't want to touch all the way to the bottom of the eye and we don't wanna make a circle. We wanna make like a half circle. So we start on this side and bring it in and up over here. Because if you look at a real eye, it is actually not all the way visible like the pupil because the top of the eyelid is covering the top part. So again, I went a little fast on that, so I'll repeat it. We're gonna bring it in right here, not come all the way to the bottom, but pretty close on both sides like that. I'm making a half circular shape. All right. So now from here, in the inside of the eye, we are going to be making the same exact circular shape but not coming as far down. And then we're gonna fill this in, which is gonna be black, but you don't have to fill it in so, so you know that it's black, you can fill it in. And then we wanna do one circle right here and a bigger circle below it right there. And this is gonna be the glare and the reflection of the light or whatever is glaring in the eye. All right. So again, we make this right here. And then we make one circle right here and an even bigger circle right there. Like that. Now wait a moment here for you all to get caught up in the eye. All right, so on to the next step. So from here, well, first, as you can see, there's like some finger marks because of the graphite and the pencil, but that's all right because we'll be painting over it and we're not leaving anything white, so that's all right. 
And even if it was white, then we could paint over it white. Like for these parts over here, we'll be painting over it white. All right, on to the next step. So for this next part, all we have left to do is the tusk and like the design up here. Okay. And also while drawing, I recommend to not have a super sharp pencil because if you have a super sharp pencil, then it's sometimes harder to draw because you might get it too dark on it or get it too light on, or sorry. And if you have a dull pencil, then it'll be lighter on it. All right. So now from here, for the tusk, I'm just going to make a oval shape like this. So I'm gonna go in the same standard pace for everyone because half of you want me to go slower and half of you want me to go faster and Let's just be patient with each other and just get this painting done. All right. So now from here, I'm going to just make like an upside down U shape kind of, but sideways. So like a sideways U shape. That's gonna start over here, but it's not gonna come all the way to the edges. It's gonna be close to the edges. And then, from here, we're now gonna, as if it came through, bring it from underneath like this and curve it at the bottom. So kind of like a triangular shape. You don't want the lines to be too thick either. What I mean by thick lines is that like if you're drawing something like this and you keep like adding baby lines. You don't want it to become too thick like that. You kind of just want to make it as best as you can as one line. But you can always, if it's too thick, then you can always erase some of it to create just that one line. Alrighty. So now, from here, All we have left to do is the design up here. And we can move on to the painting part. So for this, I'm gonna start it about up here. And you wanna draw pretty lightly. But I'm gonna start it about right up here. And I'm just going to make some curvy shapes like these. And then I'm gonna curve it in like this. I'm gonna bring it back out, and then back in with just curvy lines and curvy shapes. So if you have any questions, then make sure to type it in the chat because I don't know whose hand is actually raised because I asked you guys to unraise your hand or lower your hand if you don't actually have a question because before you all, um, some of you guys raised it to make sure that it worked. But now I don't know whose hand is actually raised. 
So if you have a question instead of me calling on you, then please just type it in the chat. And make sure to only type something relevant to what we're doing in the chat also. Otherwise, that's taking up time. All right, so on to the next part. So from here, I'm gonna make some more curvy shapes and then curve it in and back out like this. And then I'm just gonna curve it down. Like that. All right. So now we are all done with the drawing. And now we will have a commercial break before we start painting just for like five minutes. And you can make sure you have your paints, your water, and your paper towel, and your brushes, and your um, just anything else you need to put underneath already. And you can also go to the bathroom or a snack break or anything like that, and we'll be back in five minutes. Choose a plan and connect your live sessions. Welcome to Tutor Roars. Education through online platform made simple at Tutor Roars. AP Physics, AP Chemistry, Artificial Intelligence and Mathematics. SAT, ACT, College Entrance Exams. Start early at a young age and know your possibilities for best universities. At Tutor Roars, we teach students how to score. Join Tutor Roars now. All right, so we'll get started in just a minute.
And also this is a time where you can fix your drawing or do whatever you'd like to to it and make sure it's how you like it because we have a break right now. And also make sure, again, even though we're on the break, make sure that the comments are relevant to what we are doing and not random stuff. Alrighty. So again, make sure you have all your materials ready. I'm going to be choosing my paintbrushes and I'll tell you which ones I'll be using. All right. So all throughout, I am basically just going to be using these three brushes. These are both nines and they're just, all of these are flat brushes. And this one is a fat brush. And it's a fat, flat one. And these are basically the only things I'll be using all throughout. And you may be wondering how we'll do the eye. For that, I'm just going to be using the tip of the flat brush. That's, this is my favorite thing to do when I've experimented with seeing which one works best. This is the one that probably works best, better than even a thin brush. If you would like to, you can go ahead and use a thin brush if you would like. Or anything like that but you do not have to. So these are the paint brushes and you wanna make sure, again, like I was saying that you clean out your water every now and then because you may have like, like for example, what I was saying is when you're using your black and you have to like use some um, of your, you have to like wet your brush. Then once you do that, your water probably will turn like into a dark color. And we, when you have to use like a lighter color, then it'll be hard to use that. So that's why we want to clean out our water. Alrighty, so let's get started. So this is the time you want your paper towel also so you can wipe off your brushes when you're painting. So I am first going to start off by painting Lord Ganesha's head and for this I'm using a yellow color and if you want the specific yellow color I'm using it is a deep yellow. It's just a deep yellow and it's nothing like it's not like any super cool special yellow. If you don't have this yellow, then you can use any yellow you have. Like if you don't have this, you can use any yellows. But if you only have like a bright yellow like this, I recommend to mix in some like some light orange or like a little bit of dark orange if you don't have light orange. So it's not a super bright color because we want like a mix of like an orangish and, ye orangish and yellow color, which is basically this deep yellow. All right, so I'm just gonna squirt some onto my plate. And yes, also we are using acrylic paint because we are using a canvas. And also, if you do not have acrylic paint, I got a question earlier if they can use watercolor paint. Yes, you can, but I recommend if you're using watercolor paint, then to do it not on regular paper, because again, it'll dry out and be crinkly, but you can use watercolor paper. You can use a canvas, but I don't know how well that will turn out if they would, the color would really show at its best, but you can use whatever you have. So I, I just like to squirt a little bit onto my pla palette or plate. 
And if I need to, I can add more so we don't waste any paint. All right, so my brush is already wet. My brushes are already wet, but if yours are not, then you can go ahead and just mix in some water into it. But again, if you're mixing it water, you wanna make sure that you're not using a lot of water. You wanna only use a little bit of water and then you wanna wipe off the excess water. And the reason we do this is to make sure our paint comes out its fullest, but you don't wanna use as much as water as you would use for watercolor. So I'll just show you again. But you don't wanna like, dip it all this much into it. And if you do, then you can just wipe it off like this, but you just want it to be slightly damp. So that the water, so that the paint comes at its fullest. All right. So I'm just going to use my yellow paint. I don't have a lot on. But now I'm just gonna go through and I'll be showing you all the areas we'll be using this. So don't go through like in here in all areas that you don't know because it can be a little bit confusing. So we wanna go in through here. You don't wanna go through in this little gap here because that's gonna be the background color. So as if it comes through here, this is where we want that color to be. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in random areas and then have it all done in the end. And also, while I'm painting, I'll be telling you some of my techniques and my tips while I paint. The first one is to go in the same direction while you're painting. And like, what I mean by that is to, if you're going straight down, then go straight down. Don't go this way or some diagonal way, just go the same direction because you don't want it to like accidentally go in this direction because it'll be visible once you like are done with it, once it, it'll be visible that you went in a different direction and it doesn't look too good. But if you do, then that's okay. And also, this is also where you want the yellow color And also, if you have edges on your paint, uh, sorry, on your canvas, then you can paint the edges. But if you start to paint the edges, like let's say you do the edges now, make sure that you don't go like all throughout, only where this color would be and up here on the side. And also, if you start doing the edges here, make sure you do them on th all throughout too, but with a different color. I like to do the edges because it makes it look more clean. So I will be doing the edges. But once you are done with your painting, then please let me know in the comments or in the chat so I know. And you can always let me know if you're not done too. So I also know that, that you're still working and I need a pause or whatever, or go slower or faster or anything like that but I can't do all your needs because some of you want me to go faster and some of you want me to go slower. At times I'll be going faster and at times I'll be going slower. If it's in little sections then you can like go in different directions if it's like in a little part. As you can see, I actually got some paint in there. But that's all right because our background color will fill that up because our background color is darker than this color. It's okay if you get a little bit in it, as long as it's not a lot. And if it's right away, then you can kind of wipe it off with your hand and it'll make it lighter.
and if you are done, then while you're waiting for everyone else, then you can make sure that you have it all where you want it and you have the edges or whatever you want to do, uh, however you'd like to paint it. And then from there, you can make sure that you have the rest of it, like the drawing and everything, how you like it. And while you're waiting, that's what you can do. But also if you're done, then make sure to tell me in the chat. And make sure that you actually took your time on it and not just went super fast because you wanna be careful while you're getting into the edges too. And as you can see, I'm going in different directions here, but that's only because it's like a small section. And sometimes if the paint is wet, I won't be able to tell that you went in a different direction, but you wanna do your best to make it not visible, if you did. All right. So I'm getting about done here. I just wanna go in very carefully and I'm getting to here. And after we are done with Lord Ganesha's head, we are not actually done. We have a, we have like to paint the other things too. Otherwise it'll just be in pencil. So just be patient and stick with me. And make sure you took your time and actually did it not super fast, but you did it the best you can. So basically when I get to something like this, I like to basically just outline it, but on the outside of it. And then it's easier to have all of it done. And you also want to paint this right here, also the yellow color. And you want to do your best not to paint on top of pencil because the darkness of the pencil is spread onto your painting. You don't want that. And also, if you run, if you have no more paint and you only need a little bit more, then I like to just put my paintbrush into the um, paint so I don't have to squirt it and actually put too much. All right. So everyone, let me know where they're at if they're done or. If they're not done or anything like that, just let me know in the chat. All right. So it looks like three fourths of you are done and one fourth of you aren't. 
So for that three fourths of you that are done, then you can go ahead and start painting. Another part of it while everyone else is still doing theirs. So you can go ahead and paint this part. So for this part, this time I'm choosing to do some blue for this. And then over here, I'm gonna be doing red. So I'm switching these colors. And you can do whatever you'd like. So you can do the same thing I'm doing or you can do what I did last time or anything like that. All right. So I'll just be painting the sides of my canvas later. All right, so I am just going to be using some brilliant blue. You can use any blue you have. Like you can use cobalt blue, phthalo blue, or anything like that. I'm just gonna use brilliant blue because I really like the color of this and how it turns out. So I'm gonna squirt some onto my palette. You don't want too much this time because it's just over here, not the actual background. And if you need more, you can always add more, but I like to start off with a little bit so I don't waste any paint. And you can also use red there or anything like that. So I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush in a little bit of water. And then, just gonna dip it in a little bit and then wipe it against the edges. And then, I like to just bring some out. And for this, I like this color this certain type of color when there's a little bit of water in it because it brings a really nice color. So I'm just going to bring it through right here. And you don't want to make it too water that looks like watercolors. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and do that all throughout. Now, for everyone that, if you are done, um, with this um, part of his, like the head, you're done with that, then please let me know so I can move on more towards here. So as you can see, now that I've, I'll, I'm still gonna be using it, but to show you, like there's um, like a darker color in here. So you wanna make sure if you're using like a yellow or anything like that, that you don't spread that color onto it. So you can empty out your um, water and put new water, but you don't need to. But in my opinion, that's just more helpful. So I'm just using some water and I'm just bringing the paint in as if I'm painting on my plate. And then I'm just bringing it through here. And you want to make it as visible as you can to make it look like that there's another layer in there. Like to see that there's a line that comes through, but that's fine if you don't, we can always add that later.
So we have about 30 minutes left. So we want to do our best we can. So for this part, you can do some blue or some red. I chose to switch the colors this time and to do a red background and the blue for the top. All right. So make sure you go in the same direction with smooth strokes. And let me know when you're done with this too. I'm about done here. So it should now look like this. Let me know in the comments once you are done. I'm just going to clean out my paintbrush now. And to clean it off, you just need to put a lot of water and get a paper towel and then just kind of like pull at it. Like that. And if you chose to do blue here, now is a good time to empty out your water and put new water in. Okay. So now, it looks like most of you are done. So now we can move on to the next step. For this next part, I think I'm going to do Larganesha's eye. So for this, I'm just going to be using some black. You can use ivory black or whatever black you have. I'm just going to be using some regular black. And this is for Lord Ganesha's eye. So again, I'm just going to be using this paintbrush. And I'm just going to squirt some onto my palette. That actually may be too much, but that's all right if you put too much. And I am just going 
to follow up in the same area and just kind of keep curving my paintbrush and bringing it down like that. We can always fix it and make it like more neater later. We just want to get the basic shape in. So now I think I have it how I want it. And obviously I did not use that much black. I used just the tint of it. But that's all right. And sometimes you can even put your paint back into your bottle or whatever. If you want, you can just like push it back into it. All right, so now from here, we can move on to the next step. So don't compare your art to mine because mine is gonna be very different from yours as you can see, this one is already very different from this one, and you should be happy with your final product, not with, you should be like not happy because yours doesn't look as good as someone else's, because you should be happy with yours, and yours should look the best to you. All right. So now, all we have left to do other than the background is the tusk and the design. So for this, I am just going to be using some white. This is regular white, it's not like titanium white or anything like that. You can use any white you have. But I'm just gonna use some regular white. And I am just going to squirt a little bit on my palette. You really don't need a lot. I just have a little bit on there. And in the places you'll be needing it is right here on the tusk. also up over here in the design. So I'm going to go through with white.
So now we are all done except for the background and the outline on some of the parts. Alrighty. So again, I'm going to be going at the same standard pace for everyone because half of you want me to go slower, half of you want me to go faster. So the way it works the best is if I just go in the middle, assuming both your needs. All right. So now for the background, I'm going to be using a thicker brush for some parts, and then for some parts, I'll be using a lighter brush. But I'm just gonna be using some red. You can use blue if you did red up here. I'm just gonna squirt some red onto my palette. Now I obviously didn't use all that white either, but that's all right. And I'm just going to dip it in some water and then wipe it off. I'm just going to take some. I actually have a lot on here. I'm just going to put, I don't want to go back and forth like this. I want to keep picking up my paintbrush and going in the same strokes. So if you'd like to, you can mix some like red or sorry, some orange or like some yellow into your red to make it a nice color. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use Brilliant Red and this is just Brilliant Red, not any like, you can use regular red or anything like that. But this is like a brilliant blue and like the brilliant colors turn, like come out like, like really well. And you can also use just a regular standard red or anything like that. And also we'll be doing the rest of the eye in just a moment after we are done with this. If you're done and you've done all the background and everything, then please let me know in the comments. And I'm also gonna paint the edges now. You don't need a lot of paint. And then also I'm gonna be painting the edges over here, but you don't wanna be painting them all the way because there's yellow over here, so you don't wanna paint all the way through here. You only want to paint the edges right here with red. All right. So I'm gonna now get a smaller brush, but still this flat brush, just a smaller one. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this for the little areas in the red.
So it's very tiny. You want to be very careful when you're doing this. And also like for the eye in certain small areas, if you don't think that you can do it super well without messing it up, then you can also just use some marker or some like Sharpies or anything like that instead of using paint. I'm just going to go through here and connect it in through here. So you can do the best you can, but if you like, if it's hard to go through here, then you can use some Sharpie. But I would like you to keep in mind that the Sharpie color is not going to be the same exact color as the pink color. So it will be kind of obvious that you're using a different color. But if that's the best you can do, then go ahead and do that. So we have about five minutes left in this class. And we're almost done here. Patience. So make sure to be patient while you're doing this because it will look amazing in the end. As you can see, it's already starting to look really good. We're almost done. And don't compare your art to someone else's or mine or anything like that because you should be happy with your creation and how yours turned out because you're the one that did it, not anyone else. You may have gotten help from someone else, but whoever did it, whoever helped you didn't do all of it. So be happy on how yours turned out. And don't be mad at that someone else's looks better, anything like that. And also, if you get a little bit like this, do not worry, I'll show you how to fix that and cover it up in a moment.
So when I get over here, I just kind of kind of curve, I just kind of curve my brush like this. So now that most of you guys are done, we ha just have a couple more steps left, which is just doing the eye and one more outlining something. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do the edge up here real quick. In the, in the edges, it's totally all right if you go in a different direction because the edges isn't very visible. It just shows that there's color there and it looks good like that. All right, so now we are done with that. So now real quick, I'll show you how to cover up something if you accidentally got the paint on top or anything like that. So you can just get your yellow color or whatever it is And you want to do this once it's dried and just go on top of it. And sometimes it doesn't work that well if you go on top. So sometimes you need to add a little bit of white. And then once you have white there, then you just have to use your color and put it on top again. So once this white dries, then you get your yellow color and you put it on top. And this is how I fix sign if I sometimes accidentally go on top of it. So in these areas, they didn't come all the way through and you see some white. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. Alrighty. So now, because most of you are done on this, I'll show you how to do the eye. And if you're not done with the background or whatever, then that's okay. Just try to follow up with the eye right now. So, now for the eye, all we have left to do is a teensy bit of black in here. Like that. I actually got a little bit over there, but that's all right. And then this is where we will be needing the burnt umber or the brown. I'm using the color burnt umber. But I'm not gonna even squirt some of my palette because I only need a little bit. So I'm just only gonna take a little bit. And I can cover it on top like this if I actually got some black or anything like that. So now I have it all carefully in. So it looks a little bit like black on the camera, but it's actually brown, nice brown. 
And the color I used is burnt umber. And then lastly, what we'll be needing in the eye, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use this long paintbrush, which is just a one. And the only reason I'm using this is because it has like a kind of like a sick point right there and it's like hard bristled. And I'm just gonna get some white and just go on top right here. Like that. And this is the glare and the reflection on the eye. All righty. So for everyone that's still here, thank you all for being patient and sticking with me. But now since this is dried, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some yellow on top of it. There's only a few accidentally painted over. And as you can see, now it looks like nothing even happened. So sometimes white is just the trick. All right. So now the last thing we'll be needing is some gold. And if you do not have some gold or metallic color, then do not fret, I'll show you what you will need to do. You'll be needing some brown. Again, I'm using this burnt umber and also that deep yellow or whatever yellow you have. And I already have some yellow onto my palette. So I'm just gonna go ahead and next to it, skirt in just a teensy bit of brown. You don't even need that much. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take in some brown and mix it together. And you may need to add some more of this color and that color in order for it to work out. Alrighty. So now I've got my color that I need. It looks a little bit like a brown on the camera, but on the outline, it'll actually look super good. So for this, what we'll be outlining is the tusk right here. And this color should be a little bit darker than your background white color, but that's okay if it camouflages in just a little bit. But it should be standing out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and outline this. So as you can see, it stands out a little bit more. All right. So the last thing we'll be needing to outline on here, well, not the last thing, but the other thing we'll be needing to outline on here is this over here, like this design. Like that. And right here, some red got in here, so I'm just gonna go over with a little bit of white. So now the last part we'll be needing this color is over here. 
And then once we've got this, we're all done. So right here looks like a little bit chunky on the camera, but actually right here, it looks really good. So do not worry if yours looks a little bit different than mine because sometimes on the camera it shows up differently. All right. So for that gold color, I'm just going to make little dots like this. And you don't have to, this is optional. But this gives a nice touch to it. down here. And there we go. We've now got it in. And if you'd like to, you can also outline it with this color. And it looks like a nice gold color, but for some reason on the camera, it looks like a black. But it's actually like a nice golden color. All right. So now we are all done. And if you would like to, you can outline this here like I was saying, but you don't have to. And once it's all dried, then you can add in, I mean, I'm well, sorry, once it's all dried, then you can erase like some of these pencil lines if you'd like to, if they're still visible. All righty. So I'm really hoping you enjoyed this session and learn some tips and tricks from me. And my passion is to teach my creative skills to everyone, inspire all of you to explore what you love to do and move on to creativity. And be proud of yourself on how this turned out because I am very proud of you for coming with me and staying this long and doing all the art with me. And if you're done, then please let me know in the comments or in the chat so I know. And also, I'm Sindhu Serpanini, and my Facebook page is I2C Sindhu. And the Facebook page is called Imaginations to Creation. And I do a lot of creative, fun stuff on my page. And you can follow and like my page to get notifications when I do my classes. And if you have got everything done, then please let me know. And again, I would like to thank the Telugu Association of North America and the president 
Jay Tullery and the New Jersey Regional Vice President, Raja Kasakurthi and all of the leaderships there. And I would like everyone to show me their artwork. And I would also like you to like send your pictures to me like on Messenger or on my Facebook page because I really like to see all of your final creations and all of your artworks. Thank you, Sindhu. You're welcome. What's your face? Thank you. 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 Thank you all for coming. I love all of your paintings. They look really good. Next Tuesday, everyone remember that next Tuesday we also have another, we also have other classes. I'm leaving now, okay? I'm leaving. Thank you all for coming. I hope to see you next Tuesday. Hey, someone did all the papers. Thank you. Bye. to creation in www.facebook.com what material do we need for next week excuse me excuse me so i will send you all the details i'll email you guys all the details of what we'll be needing Thank you. can you tell your facebook page again yeah so my facebook page is www.facebook.com slash i2c and my Facebook page name is Imaginations to Creation. Excuse me? Yes? Um, so for the background, can we get orange? Paint, can we use a carving knife to like paint the background? <laughs> Hold on a sec. Whoever asked that question, can you please repeat that? And if you're not asking the question, please be on mute so I can understand what they're saying. Um, so for the background, can we use, like, can we put paint on the carving knife and, like, do it for the background with the carving knife? Thank you, Sindhu. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. So, yes, you can do that if you like to. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? If you don't have any other questions, then you're free to go. For those of you that came and stayed this long, thank you all for coming. I really enjoyed teaching this to you. I really hope you enjoy learning it. If no one else has any other questions, then yeah. you can go ahead and leave. Can I show you my picture of Ganesha? Thank you very sure. much. 
It was a great thing. Now tell me. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I show you my picture of my Ganesha? Yes, you can. I saw it. Wow, it looks really good. I really like how it is. Can I show my picture? Can I show you my Ganesha? Ganesha? Yeah. So just hold up your Ganeshas and then I can look at them. Where's my Ganesha? They all look really good. Here's mine. I love how all of yours are. They look amazing. So you can also send them to me on Messenger or show me on my Facebook page. And I love to see how all of yours are because Thank you. you like it. my sisters. What's your meeting idea again? Can I show you my sisters? Yeah, sure. Wow, that looks amazing. I really like the eye in that. And go. He finished before you, but you're better at hers. No, everyone is just as good as everyone else in here. You just have to be happy with how yours is. And you shouldn't compare with anyone else's because some people have been doing it longer than someone else. Can I show you um, mine? Oh, that looks amazing. Sorry so much. You. Can you look at mine? Sometimes loud guy Can you look at mine? Yeah. Look at mine. yeah. It looks really good. Now can you open because you're done? Yeah, done. The painting. All right. So, if you don't have any questions and you're free to go, if you have any questions, then please let me know right now. Okay. You don't keep your meeting ID. Oh, I so we'll be sending like the media ID and everything before every class, so you don't have to worry about that right now. Thank you. Thank you. you already told the word. Here's my own book. I love art. Okay, so I'm going to be ending the meeting. So if you have any other questions, then please let me know, or we'll say goodbye. Tell it. Tell me a question. Bye. Because. Bye. Bye. It's anything gets dirty, I only. Bye, everyone. Thank you all for coming, and I hope to see you next Tuesday. Bye.